it was an asset management business with five different business divisions, franchising, manufacturing, coffee, property development, and tech and software development as well. And with me is CEO Jess Laxon. Good to see you again all the way from New Zealand. So happy to see you. Good day, Jane. How are you? Uh, so what is the status? I know we talked about uh, the reverse merger of SFIO last time we spoke. What is the status of that? What are your next steps? Well, the good news is um, the reverse merger or acquisition of AgroKings is now finalized. And we're in the process of changing the name of SFIO. And we are officially commencing our global marketing campaign um, this coming end of um, August. Okay, um, so then how much are you trying to raise with this capital campaign and where will those proceeds go? We are raising 30 million US and the three key areas where um, these will be allocated would be number one, um, the expansion of Epiphany Cafe in the global market. And uh, we're trying to establish the, our pilot sites in Australia, in USA, and in UAE. And secondly, uh, property development projects, wherein we have three projects that will commence. And the third would be the completion of acquisition projects and for the internal growth of the companies within the conglomerate. Now, you mentioned the global marketing, the fundraising campaign. Uh, tell us more about your strategy with that. So, well, we have established this SFIO Global Academy, which will play a vital role in the marketing and fundraising campaign of SFIO. Our strategy is to showcase SFIO by way of educating our potential investors and partners. And uh, people will have access to our online masterclass courses, um, which will provide information about investment, entrepreneurship, leadership, and um, in terms of target market we are targeting um key countries where to launch our campaign and road shows which will start this october in the usa australia uae canada and singapore and um, these countries will serve as a hub for the neighboring countries where we will establish offices to strengthen our presence in these regions. We are in the process actually in uh, putting up an office in New York City. And um, in fact, pre-completion of the reverse merger, we have been very busy forging alliances and collaborations with different community groups and leaders in those countries that I mentioned uh, to gain support and exposure of the brand organically. And just to give you an idea, in the US and Canada, we're entering the market through the help of our existing shareholders and Asian American business chamber of commerce in major states and in Asia we have solid support from various Asian communities including the members of some digital technologies and in Europe we have a partner based in Italy who is now helping us with our campaign and um, in terms of the road shows uh, we will be pitching the multi-economic opportunities in SFIO not only to potential investors but also to potential business partners for the global expansion of the Epiphany Cafe business um, as part of our um, road shows and global campaign. Mm -hmm. and, and with the marketing and the fundraising, who are you targeting with that? Well, since our opportunities in SFIO are so diverse, we are targeting different types of investors and business partners. Apart from the traditional investors, we are also aiming to start our engagement with potential franchises, licenses in those countries that we are visiting. Um, important part of our strategy is tapping those businesses and individuals who are in the shared economy, which is in alignment with our business model, particularly the integration of what we call co ownership or the micro business concept in our franchise model, particularly for Epiphany Cafe. And um, the primary reason that we are targeting these types of markets is because we'd like um, to take this opportunity to position SFIO and our businesses as an industry leader, not only by promoting, um, but also integrating the collaboration model um, with SMEs within our business. Mm -hmm. Now, I know, you know, you've talked so much about global, you're in New Zealand, I'm in the US, we've been dealing with COVID all over the world. Has, how has that impacted your business? How are you able to grow, expand, reach your goals, and still navigate the COVID situation? 
Well, as you mentioned, as we navigate through the pandemic or COVID, we have adapted to the new normal and have updated our business model to suit the changes of the um, or changes in the customer behaviors and the, the market landscape um, itself. And in our opinion, one of the positive things that um, came out from the current situation is that um, businesses, particularly SMEs, have collaborated not only for survival, but more so to remodel the business landscape globally to suit the new normal. Yeah, no, it's interesting how it, it kind of forced creativity on all of us and we came up with ideas exactly. we probably wouldn't have otherwise. So now the Epiphany Cafe, so that's kind of the pilot project for SFIO. I mean, what are you learning? You talked a little bit about it, but expand on it with the COVID situation. Well, um, we're introducing a disruptive innovation in the global market, and uh, this is how a brand can expand rapidly using our smart freeze technology that I talked about in the previous um, interview. And um, our franchise model has also evolved to co-ownership or fractional ownership model. And in this model, the associated risk in the business is better managed with higher operational success because the business is... Uh, operation will be managed by the franchisor, that's Epiphany, in the first three to five years. While we prepare our business partners to run the businesses through the comprehensive training program under our SFIO Global Academy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any final points you want to make about your strategy going forward, your plans for SFIO? Yeah, sure. Um, basically, during our fundraising, we will also promote our program to become a market leader in offering low-carb treats as we head towards our goal to reduce our sugar content of our products by substituting the traditional ingredients with healthier options. And um, we also encourage everyone to consider investing and, of course, supporting SFIO and be part of our story with diverse opportunities, which would bring economic benefits benefits to, to everyone. And um, we will be conducting a series of meetings, presentations, conferences with potential investors, existing investors through Zoom and through our roadshows. And um, to everyone, stay tuned for updates about our roadshow in USA, UAE, Australia. And uh, you may contact us um, for inquiries about available franchise slides, uh, sorry, slots. And um, lastly, I'd like to thank everyone who have supported SFIO so far, especially our current investors and partners who have patiently waited for this acquisition to be completed. And of course, Jane, I'd like to thank you for having me here. It's a great pleasure to be here. Oh, of course, thank you so much. And I was just thinking you've got a busy few months ahead with all the travel and the road show. So um, look forward to maybe meeting you in person when you come to New York. I look forward to that. Thanks, Jess.